Hi, welcome back to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and Outdoors. Today we're here to do a flashlight review on a Thrunite TC12. And instead of doing a standard review, I thought that I would up my game a little bit and bring it to my state-of-the-art testing facilities to test its IPX8 rating. So, without any further ado, let's get the test of this sucker. Welcome to our testing laboratories. Like I said, this is the TC12. It is a rechargeable flashlight made by Thrunite, and it is said to be IPX rated, which means it is supposed to be capable of impact of up to one and a half meters and two meters of submersion. So we've got the laboratory back here. I've got my technical assistant in the water ready to help me out and we're going to test this sucker out it's already turned on we're going to leave it on throughout the testing process and when we're done testing it we'll see if it still works and we'll come back and talk about it ready ready Sudden Aquatic Compression Test, Phase 1. That passed. Okay, the pool is, I don't know, four feet deep. I'm sorry, the testing facility is about four feet deep and this should be rated for far more than that. However, that last throw seems to have wiped it out. It's rated for that one and a half meter drop. Um, and we're certainly throwing it up higher than that, but you know, it's impacting in water, which is a super soft landing, which should not be posing a problem for this light. Let's see if we can recalibrate it. All right, we're gonna try a recalibration process. Go ahead. All right, so my professional assistant back here performed some recalibration techniques on this and it seems to be working again, which leads me to believe that it is not an issue with the waterproofing, it is an issue with something inside here being loose. Now when I first got this, there were some issues where it wouldn't turn on and we thought that I had it fixed, but apparently the issues with this light are still ongoing. I've had plenty of other through light, ugh, through night flashlights and I've had zero problems with them. This is the first one that's given me any issues. So hopefully this is just something that got past quality control in the factory. We'll see what through night does about it. Still working, but I think for now, our review of this TC-12 is going to be over.
Okay, so we're back from our testing facility and it's time to take a look at this. I left this underwater uh, while we finished our swim and left it turned on and for the most part it stayed on but every once in a while it would just blink out and currently it's not working and if you can see I don't know if you can see that or not but there appears to be some condensation on the inside of the lens so let's crack this thing open and see if we can see any moisture in here actually let's take a look under the cover all right that cover did not keep out Oyster. It's full of water. Let's open up the inside. Let's see if the O rings worked. See that? That's probably a pretty good reason why this light's not working. say that this light did not live up to its IPX8 standards. Okay guys, I'm not going to attempt to get this light working anymore. It's soaking wet. I can't take this head assembly off, but I can only presume that since this port was saturated and I can see some condensation there inside the glass lens, that there's moisture inside here as well and you know that pool is four feet deep well short of its ipx8 standards so you know unfortunately i'm going to have to call this one a fail for this light which is too bad because i really really like this light a lot i have the through night tn12 which is virtually identical without the internal charging port and I've used that as a backup light at work for probably a year and a half now and it's been great I haven't had any issues with it but for this one yeah this one's just gonna be a fail for me so I'm gonna send this back to through night and see what they say about it and if they want to replace it they can replace it if not you know, oh well, they sent this one to me for, for free to test, so we'll see what they do with it. And, uh, you know, I'll let you know one way or the other. If this was a light that I had purchased myself, then I would expect their warranty to kick in and I would expect them to replace it. But I'll let you know what they say, you know, after, after I get in touch with them, finish this video. Um, you know, like I said, I've got other through nights. I've got the TN12. Um, I've got one of the Archers. Some of the little, well, I don't remember which models they are. The little AAA pocket lights. I've had numbers of those. I only replace them because I keep losing the darn things because they're so small. And this is the first problem that I've had with the through night. When I first received this, like I said, it was a little funky where the light would keep cutting out and I thought that we had it fixed. So obviously there's something else going on with this light. So that's it guys. Um, hope you find this helpful and we'll, uh, we'll see what through night does with it. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.